Welcome back everybody. It's been a long time since I posted anything on YouTube. I've been busy working so I thought uh, on this dinner I would post this uh, video on how to steam a flounder. And uh, as you can see here I have a flounder that I had to I cut the head and the tail off. Normally you wouldn't do that but we did it to fit it in the, in the steaming pan. Underneath here I have some uh, green onion cut in about two and a half or three inch slices. This keeps the bottom of the fish off of the plate. And if you'll see in the, I'm just using a Dutch oven. This is in how you can steam things in your house without using a, um, buying one of those steamers, commercial Asian steamers. You can improvise. Uh, you want about a, uh, three quarters of an inch of water in here, a heat proof little bowl or a wire rack, and then you sit your dish with what you're going to steam in there and when the water comes to a boil you'll put the cover on it and for, for a flounder you want like 15 minutes maybe 15 minutes and you put the um, the water to simmer so you have a constant flow of steam under in the pan you steam this fish for uh, 15 to 20 minutes longer if it was a bigger fish like a sea bass or a red snapper and this is what's going to go on top of the uh, this will give you a chance to practice your knife skills because you, have, you want this ginger and the green onion sliced real thin. When the fish is done steaming, you'll pour it, any juice that's on this dish off. You'll sprinkle this on top with some salt and pepper, and then you'll put some real, very hot oil and, and uh, sear the, the top of the fish and put thin soy sauce on it. So I will show you this dish after it comes out of the steamer, and we'll show you the final prep. Okay, now we're back. You can see that uh, the steaming process is over. It's been 15 minutes, so we're going to take the top off of this covered Dutch oven. And like I was telling you before, you want to carefully grab a hold of the plate and tilt it to pour any juice off. Actually, it's easier if you pick the plate up. Use two pot holders. Pick the plate up, pour any water that's accumulated off of the fish. Then, you're going to sprinkle a little bit of salt and pepper on top. And you have to be able to multitask when you're cooking, so you can see I'm going to swing this around. You can see on the other burner I have the wok and the oil is starting to smoke. I've got about maybe a four inch, four inch diameter circle of, of uh, fresh soybean oil that's getting red hot. That's going to go on top. Be sure you use uh, a heat proof ladle like this. Swing back around to the fish. Take your oil. You see it steering at the top of that fish? That's what you want to hear. If it doesn't sizzle, it's not hot enough. It's a fine line though, you have to be very careful because once the oil starts smoking, that's hot. If you get it too hot, it'll catch on fire. So once it starts smoking, that's how hot you need it. And you can see I have extra oil in there because I'm going to make another dish. So. And after you've seared it with the hot oil, you just sprinkle thin soy sauce on top. And that's your steamed flounder with ginger and green onions. Hope you've enjoyed this lesson.